hello, hello, hello. How are you today? My name is Jenna. This is 1111 with Jenna. I am here seven days, seven nights, 14 times a week. And I am okay. I got it. I got it. Thank you, Facebook. Thank you, Zoom. Sometimes you're compatible, sometimes you're not. But I am. I'm quite compatible right here, right here in this little square. How are you? What's going on? Let me put my phone. I need to update my other devices and then I'll be able to use them where I want to use them. But until then, it's all right here. I can revive. Ah, ooh, interesting. Okay. I haven't. Oh, 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 oh. Jamie Bell. What up, Jamie Bell? What up? Okay, let me get to today's page. And then I will go like this tonight for this one person that's watching right now. <laughs> Gary Lambert's going to be here. The last conversation from the couch in the house. That's right. But right now. Chef Metzger in the house. In the square. In his own square. Ooh, in Lisa's office again. Yay! He's in Lisa's office. With the beautiful painting of all the little fishes. Yes, sir. What's up? Unmute, unmute, unmute thyself. I okay. can't see that other part on me. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm, I'm good. You're in the office again. I'm in the, I'm in the office again. We have okay. more guests. We have more guests. You guys are just like party animals. Emma is uh, sleeping. Who? So the girls are sleeping, so. Oh, the girls. So I, I hide in an office where I don't bother anybody. It sounds like it's kind of loud in there, though. Like they could still hear you. I'm, I'm kind of locked into the room here, so. Yeah. Okay, just checking. What's so new in this? Oh, I still keep reading stuff about Bruce and all my friends that are pissed off. Well, yeah, that's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of off the front burner for the time being. Is it? What's on the, what's, what's happening there now? There's nothing to do. I mean, there's, you know, there's take what's ever left is. Here's what I think. Here's what I think he should do because he's the working man's musician and all that stuff. Oh yeah. No, no, that's true. Uh, -huh. and he just sold his catalog for $500 million. Right. Why not? Why not for one month schedule 15 shows across America in selected places and not charge a dime? Because he, that's not, he's not going to do that. I know, but he could. He could still pay his manager. He could still pay the booking fees. He could still pay for it. $500 million plus everything else he's ever had for just 10 shows. But his band gets, wants to get paid. He could, he could pay him. He could if he wanted to, but that's not the way they roll. They're all millionaires too. They could all say, you know what? They'll do, char they'll do charity stuff. And, uh, they still get paid at charity though. Thanks, Lee Cooper. Oh, shit. Look at this. That's a good one. A good one? No kidding. Thanks, Lee Cooper. I haven't seen that shirt yet. Ooh, check it out. I know you love to dance. Oh, yeah.
See, look at him dance. He loves to dance. Jeff Metzger loves to dance. Thanks, Lee Cooper. And Jeff. Right now. Okay. It didn't last very long, so you're off the hook. <laughs> so what kind of party's happening at the Metzger household? Well, my young cousin Eddie Olson is here playing a professional golf tournament. That's what was the was the topic of the week. We played together on Wednesday. I tweaked my back and then he went off to play his tournament over the weekend. I can't Instead, hear you as well as I would like to. Because well, you're in the grand office of Lisa Metzger. Uh, it sounds probably echoey, doesn't it? A little bit. You just need to come a little closer. Come a little closer. Should I try? Should I try? But it extra dry. Well, I can't. If I come closer, I cut my head off. So how are we going to do this? Sit on the ground then. How about if I use buds? Lose what? If I use buds, does that help? Oh, try it. Let's see. We're going to do this is a good. Oh, look at that. Jeez, I can hear you. How about that one? Is that better? Mm hmm It is? Way better. Whole new world. Did you know that my earbuds Seriously? were stolen from a hotel room? Just the buds, not the charger, just the buds. So that's better. They stole them from a hotel room. What are you going to do with those buds when you don't have the charger? You need the charger. Yeah. These are actually hand-me-downs from Lisa. Stole. Does she have any extras? Well, she got, she wanted the new ones. The, so I got the well, hand-me-downs, the old ones. Next time she gets newer ones. Yeah. yeah. So I hadn't had any because Lisa thinks that I'm going to lose them. She thinks that that's a character trait of mine. Oh, really? I wonder, I wonder after. But I do have, I did label my she name. Would think such a thing. But why really, would you think such a thing after, after just a couple of decades of hanging out together? That's so couple? How, how about four of them? Um, you so lost put my, four put a label. No, no, four decades. Well, I know I was giving, I said four at first and then I thought, eh, just like, you know, ease up on him a little bit and say, you know, a couple of decades. And Jeff Metzger's here today, you guys. A couple of decades people. was a couple yeah. of decades ago, huh? How about you let people know who you are, Jeff? Just a little... Oh, I'd rather you, you you do it. You you Pressure. you can you, you no, can be I'll more flattering. In, I'll add in a little bit. You can be more color. flattering than I than I am. I'll add a little bit of color. Come on, talk oh, about yourself. You, you, Twenty sir. seconds. Twenty seconds. Jeff Metzger, go. Soon to soon to be retired lawyer. How's that? And then what are you going to do? I don't know. I heard it. I heard it put best the other the recently. I saw an old friend of mine who's retired. And these people ask him, "What are you going to do?" He says, I don't know. He says, I don't even know what I'm doing now, but I'm enjoying it. So that's kind of the way I see it. There you go. I'm trying we'll to figure it out. I'm trying Try to, to keep my back healthy. Me. Yeah. I'm trying to send this to your page right now because I want to share this on your page so that people know that you're here right now. And Facebook keeps changing the way we do this. Wait, did you say what are we doing today? Did I ask you? Did I hear you ask me what am I doing today? What are you doing today, Jeff? <laughs> I thought I heard you ask that. I, I, you knew I did. I know you did. We're actually going to an Indian burial, but you didn't you expect that answer. From in India or an indigenous? Indigenous, indigenous Indig burial. Tell me more about that. I can relate. We're going to well, then from there then to uh, to uh, well we'll go to that part next. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mama Grace. Beautiful <laughs> face. Yeah, so yeah. the parents the parents of a friend of ours uh, passed away hmm. three to four weeks ago. They they died within eight days of each other. Oh wow. Yeah, mom Broken is, uh, no, well, no, probably, not. well, yeah, but I don't think that was really a thing. It was, the, mom died of Alzheimer's, 
and had a pretty rough bout with it for several years. And as she was, she ended up with a, um, she had a brain bleed. That was kind of the final shot. That, but about that time, dad's, dad, he was a union painter for most of his career. And I guess probably in a lot of buildings with asbestos had developed some lung disease. Asbestos. And uh, asbestos just asbestosis. Asbestosis. Uh, what's the, what's the, um, I forgot the name of it. Anyway, he was failing, you know, anyway. And then he, his lungs gave way and he had a problem. So he, he died eight days later. So they have, um, and the funny thing is, is that we're friends with him because one day, probably eight or 10 years ago, probably Lisa was in at jury duty. And while waiting in jury duty, she starts talking to the guy next to her. And um, they start chatting and chatting and chatting and have to wait and wait. Well, you got to come back this afternoon. Let's go have lunch. And she comes home, says, I met this cool guy. And they stayed in touch, became friends. And um, the family has uh, been in Orange County for, well, I mean, since probably the early, early part of the 20th century. Parents in the same house since 1967. Uh, he's the father's Mexican mother is Portuguese, but both have indigenous blood. And as it turns out, if they had 23 and me, mom turns out to have, because it was always the dad always um, was the one who was always touting his indigenous heritage. Turns out by 23 and me, mom has more indigenous blood than, than than, uh, than he does. So turns out, you know, Jews have nothing to do on uh, Christmas Eve. What are we going to do? And they started inviting us to their family tamale, tamale dinner. So for several years, we would join the family for Christmas Eve, and it was it was, uh, and I would my my contribution would be Caesar salad for in my big bowl funny at the memorial yesterday all family members kept coming up to me and said oh my god you're caesar oh cool <laughs> anyway so parents died uh we've been friends with them for a long time so they the burial is um they did two-day thing mm -hmm. uh they split the ashes one in a traditional ceremony in a um in a um, cemetery locally and then there is a indigenous burial ground uh, near San Juan Capistrano cool. that they are able to qualify for. So they're doing, and apparently the ceremony is, you know, we're going to go see the ceremony, but um, with all kinds of chanting and I mean, I'll, I'll, that'll be, it'll be pretty cool. Very yeah. cool. It should be really cool today. Yeah. Very cool. So, so they don't, they didn't it. serve sopapillas and pisole on their, on their um, Christmas Eve or Christmas night? Tamales. Tamales. And boy, the mom could make them. She could make tamales. Oh. We used to make those Mama Grace. Remember for Christmas, we would yeah. make those. They're fun to make. And then you're going where? To Comerica Park, mm -hmm. were you about to say? Uh, sea Salt. Sea Salt Beach Side Burger and Bar for, um, for uh, Cubensis. Do you know what Cubensis is? Cubensis featuring John Kavlicek. You know John Kavlicek? You must know John Kavlicek. I know, yeah. Yeah, he was the one of the original founders of the Dark Star Orchestra. Who's been gone for a long time, plays, you know. He, I think he I think he probably sounds, he, he mimics Jerry's voice probably better than, closer, it's been better, closer than anybody I can think of who really Do sounds just Scaff? like him. Do you Greg Scaff? Uh-oh. Greg Scaff? No, oh, that name's familiar. He's here right now. And Hi, I just have to do this really quickly. Thank you, Lee Cooper. Anyway, so Cubensis was the first of the tribute bands in Southern California, founded by a guy named Craig Marshall, who wanted to listen to a lot of dead music. And since in those days before the internet, there wasn't, you know, you had to go to a show or you couldn't do it. He says, well, then I'll start playing it. So he, he found, he, he creates his band Cubensis. Unfortunately, Craig um, passed away about two months ago. So the band carries on and they're doing a show during days between today on the beach. Should, and it's going to be frigging packed. 
the you... announcement the amount announcement came with the this with the uh, warning don't drive you won't find parking you know share do ride share so i imagine it's going to be just it'll be just jammed so what do you do well uber you'll uber okay we'll uber and then uber home or at least i'll drop us off after the at least they'll drop you off and run away quick oh quick <sighs> lisa how is she doing Definitely. What's the latest what has she been rescuing or feeding or doing or training or something i know there's something what has lisa been doing um i don't know we work it with layla you know we've got Nice. We've been showing Eddie our house guests. We've been showing uh, all of our, all of Layla's tricks. Mm -hmm. And where's your guest from? Santa Cruz. Oh, why aren't they awake with you right now to be on the show? Why isn't he? He's, he is. He's in the other room watching. He said he's going to watch. What's his name? Eddie. 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 Eddie Olson. What up, Eddie? Eddie, do you know Michael Horn? His mother's. Huh? I just asked him if he knows who Michael Horn is, Santa Cruz friend, music promoter, musician, overall groovy guy. He's been on my show Eddie. during Jazz Fest. We were together the second weekend. So Eddie's a young deadhead now, and so he's excited about the show today. So that's what we're doing. Fun. And how do you know Eddie? His mother's my first cousin. Oh, he's a relative. Yeah. His mother is your first cousin. Cloud, yeah. Okay, you guys, I have to do this right now, okay? My ASMR for the morning. Since Claudia is here, and this package is from Claudia. And I know what it is, and Jeff appreciates them. I'll be back in a second. Sorry, Lee. Ooh, it's a, it's going to be a sleeper. It's a sleeper, Claudia. Check me out, my no. pride t-shirt. Oh, cool. Thank you, Claudia. I haven't lost them yet. You what? I still have them. You still you haven't lost. You haven't lost. <laughs> have you ever washed one in the in the laundry? I just started using them because I just it's just been a couple of weeks as I get Lisa those other ones. She went an early birthday present for her, so then she had these. Hi, Rod. When's her birthday? Her birthday's the same as it is every year. I forget when it is. <laughs> End of August. When? 31st. August. What do you get? You, you, you quizzing me as if I didn't know and it's getting just me in making trouble? making sure. Just making sure. You never know. I mean, after 40 years. Do you guys give each other presents back and forth? Card? Not generally. But, but if, she, if she expresses a desire for something, we usually make it happen within reason. Where is the next trip you're going on, by the way? What do you define trip? When are you getting on a plane? Oh, Hawaii in November. I was going to go to Hawaii. I was going to go to Kauai in September and it got canceled. Why? Bummer, dude. Um, because of family stuff with my friend. But now I'm going to go, I'm going to Telluride on Tuesday. So next really? Saturday, we will be doing the show from Telluride. Is it, is it, is one of the music festivals going on there? Yes, festival. Are you performing? No, I'm, I'm, I've been invited by a guest from here, Jazzy Jeff, Jimmy Jazz, Jimmy Jazz, from Jim Berkowitz, who lives in Telluride. And he is on the board and he invited me to be a guest and he's going to introduce me to people on the board and maybe next year or the year after i'm just crossing everything as i do that so, so the, i'm going to right, 
right. I'm going as a patron. So they have a series of uh, music festivals in Telluride. They have, the summer, yeah. they have a festival almost every day of the year. Yeah. Yeah, there's, a, there's a bluegrass one, I think. I think that was All kinds of really, really, really groovy. Festivals. What's the one Neil Young used to play at? There was a, or maybe that was just Neil playing. playing. But I know they have a bunch of them. Cindy, Cindy Glassman Cantrell. Have you ever on. been to Tell You When? I've been near it. I've never hung out there. No, I've been like, so close. Montrose, Durango, that whole area. Yeah. Have you? No. Well, fly on out. Well, get yourself on the on the uh, on the bill. Next year, let's 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 hope it's next year. I would like that. DJ Jazzy Jeff probably has a broken nose. DJ Jazzy Jeff probably has a broken. I don't get that one, but I know DJ Jazzy Jeff. I met DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. Uh, I used to live at a recording studio in Berkeley and they were working. And while they were there, Will was working on a movie with Whoopi. So that's why they came into the studio because they had some time. And then there was a an earthquake and DJ Jazzy Jeff got on a plane and split. He did not like the shaking of the earth. Never, I bet he never came back. I watched, I, we were there for the earthquake and he, he he canceled the rest of the, they were done. It's a little bit of trivia for you. That was about 30 years ago, I think. 25 at least. Whenever You're that, that old? Am I that old? 30 something. You were a kid. I was a kid. Totally. Oh, I met, I, a, I hung out with, with um, what was his name? Oh. Oh gosh, now I can't think of his name. Too Short, Too Short used to call me Paula Abdul. Hey Paula Abdul, what up girl? Because I worked in the studio, I was sort of the host, I was the receptionist, it was in a house, still there. The Tonys, that's where I met um, Vanessa Williams, bunch of people. The guy that sang the song, Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer, Boys to Men. That was that group was Keith knew them. They were called Grandma. Who did that song? It, Who's the singer? Keith is friends. With, he's with friends oh, with him. Was, no, there was oh, two. Was a, friends with him? It was a it was a husband and wife. I think. What was the name of that? Oh shoot! Somebody look it up and then. I think from the Bay Area. Who did yeah, Grandma? I'm who sure. did Grandma? Makes sense that it was from the from. Hey, hey Siri, who did Grandma Got Run Over by a Rainbow? Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. Okay. Elmo and Patsy, that's what it was. Elmo and Patsy. Well, one of them was. Yeah, that's who it was. Elmo and Patsy, they were the writers. Randy, wait a minute. Shit, these YouTube ads for crying out loud. What does it say? Where's the information? You can't hear it because I got the buds on. Where's the... Anyway, it was... That's who it was. Tuck and... I mean, Elmo and Patsy. I think... Oh, I get them confused with Tuck and Patty. Oh, shit. I lost you. What the hell happened? Shit. Jenna. Well, I'm here. I'm wondering whether. 